Hey, what's up guys? I'm Finn from Mr. Finn's Films, and, uh, well, if you've probably seen the slow motion gunshot, uh, video, and now I'm going to be doing a tutorial on it. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's play with some guns. Ooh. Ooh, uh, I'll just get on with the t <laughs> tutorial. Right. It's been his freaking feet at best! Ah! Oh god, no! Hey. First thing you want to do is slow down your footage, uh, like initially. So right click, interpret footage, main, and conform to frame rate uh, 23.976. Uh, so now that's smooth 40% slow motion. And then you want to come in uh, and pick which section you want. So for me, it's here to maybe here. Cool. So then we're going to want to drag this into a new composition. I've already set up the setting. So uh, drag that into a new composition and get click the pro and set the input to. Uh, 23.976 and set the speed to 30 and then you're just going to want to go through take a look make sure you've got the right section so no I haven't so what so what I can do is right click uh, time enable time remapping and then like, I can just drag that out and find the section that I want. So yeah, just go through, find the section. I'll uh, put this, I'll put a link to, so you can download this footage in the description. Um, there we go. And then trim comp to work area. So now we've just got that little section of footage. So I will just uh, pre-compose that, move all attributes and call this footage. So we've got our footage. With that, what I'm going to do is go into here and I'm just going to reframe it because we don't see much of my face and I've got a beautiful face so why not, why not show it? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm ugly. I'm, I'm not very. I'm joking. No, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright, I'd say, in my opinion. Um, so look, we've got our super slow footage. And you can see it warps a bit but that doesn't matter because you won't notice it. So the next thing to do is uh, create a new solid. So a white solid you want it to be. Okay, and then we'll pre-compose this, call it flare, and open it up. And then what you're going to want to do is create a ellipse, hold control and shift, no, I always do that. Uh, make sure you've got the layer selected, and then make your mask, so control shift, and then just drag it out to maybe there, and then make another one, control shift. So that's the second one to subtract, and then we're going to do a quick expression. Sorry if I'm doing this quickly, it's just uh, my microphone only lets me record for so long because uh, my USB is almost full up, and then just drag that up to the expansion. So now, when you expand the first mask, it automatically expands the second mask as well. So now to animate that, so just sort of put down to there. I think, oh no, I want to go big at the beginning though. I'd say about 15 frames is good. I'm going to go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 frames. And then just expand it up to here. So now I'll probably skip a bit. Anyway, um, now we've got the spans out, and that's it. That's our flare. All done. No, I'm joking. There's a lot more to do. Uh, so now we're going to want to make this look like a not a flare. Uh, so we will take. Uh, in here, type in rough, if I can spell, rough and edges, and drag that onto our white solid, and then you can see that gives it a nice sort of rough look around the edge, as the name suggests. So then we just increase that until we like it, we set that complexity about 4, and that sort of look, how much detail it is basically. And then also, we want to keyframe the evolution. Um, sort of drag that up a couple times 
so now it's not come down it looks nice and organic but you can see at the beginning oh it doesn't actually look that bad this one so look i've had to record this tutorial like four times and it's never looked as good so it's all good it's, it's, this is a good one i believe in us so we've got our flare now we're going to want to make it sort of uh, dissipate and sort of go away when it gets to a certain point so what we're going to do that one i'm also going to do first is just sort of do a quick make it look a bit more random not quite that random like that um no that's that's just ridiculous let's make that a little bit less funky there we go that looks good so um so that sort of expands out and looks nice and organic so now we're going to want to make another mask, sort of like a random arms, so um, just like that. And then set this one, mask 3, to subtract. And then that sort of looks a bit weird, but you'll see in a minute what we're doing in a bit. So um, we're going to want to keyframe the mask expansion. So at the beginning, set it right down, so that you can just see this happening. And then maybe about here, so another keyframe, and then go forward to the end, and then just expand it all the way. So I'm going to start that uh, second keyframe a bit earlier, not quite that earlier. So it comes out and then it dissipates, so control shift H to hide all the gizmos. So that, yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go, so now if we come back into comp one, uh, we can see it's tiny, but we'll scale it up. Find the point where I shoot, so about here, line it up. Uh, maybe. A bit earlier. So we'll find this first point, bring it over, okay. uh, and then scale up our flare. So now we've got a nice expands out and then dissipates and what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate it around a bit. And a bit more. So we'll give that a nice little bit and right to where we can see it. So now we've got, oof, and that looks awesome. Right, so next is uh, we've roughened it and we've dissipated it now we've got to color it and make it look cool so uh i'm gonna go effect color correction tint and then tint this is why we did it white and then tint the white to a nice bright orange and set that to add and then also i'm gonna go color correction where is it uh brightness and contrast and then brain it up turn the, turn the contrast down so now we've got a nice sort of fiery looking model flare. And next we want to duplicate it and on the bottom layer, effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur, and just blur it out quite a lot. And that's gonna be our glow. So it sort of lights up the whole scene. And that, that looks really good, actually. That looks better than my original, I reckon. So yeah, uh, next is create a new, new solid. So control Y. I'm just going to make this one black so it looks a bit different. I'm going to call this one Len uh, Lens Flare. So for this one, we're going to go Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. You can also do this. There is a um, Lens Flare plugin built into After Effects, but it's just um, this one's a lot more customizable in Optical Flares, so I can make it look a lot sort of more how I like it and the one I'm going to use is Dirty Anamorphic and I'm going to set the colour to orange, sort of the main colour and then go set a few of the different things to orange as well. Sorry if I'm rushing, I'm just, I've done this tutorial loads of times today and I'm really annoyed. Anyway, <coughs> so now we've got our uh, lens flare almost done and then I'm just going to go through 
change a couple of these colours to orange. I'm going to leave a few blue though because I think it looks really cool like that. There we go. And then if you set that to add and also on transparent. Um, oh, right, there we go. Go back to composition. There we go. So now we've got our lens flare. So we're going to go through, find the point where the, there we go. So here, you're, if you're going to want to control your brightness, go back a frame, set it to zero. Here, it's going to want to be really bright. Four, five, six, six frames on, turn back now to zero. So now that you've got this nice, but I'm also going to move this center point just down here so it's less like coming over here because that just gets in the way of my face, my beautiful face. So now I've got this nice sort of flash of light. Uh, which doesn't look half bad. Uh, maybe if I just drag this on a couple frames. Yeah, that looks good. So we've got a sort of. Uh, if I just open up, hit U to open up keyframes. I'm just going to go through and drag this brightness so it sort of starts getting up to 100 there and then goes back down so it's awesome so the flare looks pretty damn good uh, yeah flare's done pretty much in fact on this top flare I'm just gonna blur that out a tiny bit as well just like maybe two pixels so it's just not so sharp And I'm also going to make it a bit brighter. There we go. Right, next we've got to do the shell. So let's hide this stuff quickly. And I'm using uh, Action Essentials 2. So I've got this 45 cal slow 3, uh, which is sort of a slow shell that sort of spins around as it, uh, as it goes. So let's just drag this over. Find a good point where it sort of lines up like that with the gun and then I'm also just going to hide it because first of all we've got to animate our little bit here opening up so I'm turn on the flares and stuff just so I can see when they're happening what I'm going to have I'm going to have it start opening here so I'm going to drag a marker here and then I want it to have closed by here so drag another marker here you don't have to, but I just do that so I know where I'm, so uh, when I turn the flares off, I know where I need to be doing it. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put that to full res quickly, so we can see what we're doing. And make a new black solid, and just hide that for a second. And then just mask around this area. Here, oh, that one's a bit weird, but yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect, just just needs to be good enough. And now I'm just going to feather that. Just like that. I'm just going to shrink this down a bit. There we go. And then uh, what I'm going to do is keyframe the position of this layer. So just do it quickly. Or I'm just going to do it for the leaf. If you're going to use this in a film, obviously, do it a bit more detailed so it looks perfect. And then by this point it's going to be closed anyway, but we'll just line it up anyway for the sake of it. So that looks good enough for my for my case. And then on this layer, we're going to make another quick mask, which is just going to follow the perspective of the gun uh, and just sort of uh, yeah, well 
I'm just going to be sort of covering it up so we can hide it. So we're going to feather this one. And then uh, also we're going to animate the mask path again. So at the beginning here, also yeah, it needs to be subtract, subtracted. So at the beginning, we're going to cover it up completely. We go one, two, three, we drag it over. And then here, we're going to add a keyframe. And then one, two, three, and then close it up again. So then it sort of opens and closes. Drop it to H to hide all the gizmos. So that's what's happening. So it sort of opens up and then closes again. It's nice and quick. Cool. Oh, well, we don't need those masks anymore. Cool. Um, there we go. So now we're going to uh, turn our shell back on wherever it is. Uh, there. Oh yeah, we need to bring this black forest down below the shell. So turn our shell back on. Uh, go back a frame to where find the frame where it lines up. Doesn't actually need to start till here. Uh, and then we can. I'm just going to rotate it so it fits like that. Position it and scale it down. About the right size, so maybe about there, and put it here. And then we're going to want to animate the position of it. So, oh, that's still a bit big, but I'll, I'll sort that in a minute. So, from here, it's going to want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just go to maybe here and just drag it off. Drop it to H. Um, so, let's just check the speed of that quickly. go and grab the second keyframe just drag it out a little bit not too far and then just um, also in fact what I'm going to also do is keyframe the rotation as well because at the moment it sort of looks like it's spinning perfectly upright which obviously isn't isn't what we want so uh, it needs to be a bit more sort of random so by here, I'll just sort of rotate it somewhere else like that, so that it sort of yeah, that looks good. So next, the next step is to add the sort of arc. So for the covenant, no, I'm joking. Just the arc, uh, and then I'm also gonna move this point down a bit so now it sort of shoots upwards might just be even slower actually So now we're going to need to sort this little bit out here. In fact, what I'm also going to do is just drag, drag this out. Uh, we're going to need to, I can't go back to full. We're going to need to um, make a mask so that it's hidden while the thing, while the uh, slide is sort of opening up. So. If I just sort of hide it, we're gonna go for a frame here. Uh, we and then just oh yeah, we need to, I forgot to keyframe it. No, I'll do that in a bit. I'll do this frame. Uh, and we'll keyframe the mask path here. Go back a frame. Drag it up. Drag these bits in a bit. There we go. And then a bit more. A bit more. So by this time it's going to be gone anyway, so that's good. And then 
Come on, start. I just want to expand. Expand all the way out. Now if we turn it back on. It doesn't look very good at the moment. Uh, so it's only going to be on there for a second. So now I'm just going to move this away for now. Looks a lot better last time. Let's just take a look. So I think it's because it's spinning once in there. So what we want to do. So this is fully open. So we want to start expanding the mask a bit earlier, I think. So um yeah, by this point it wants to be sort of stuck sticking out like that, maybe. Oh, it may be still covered up to here though. blur this shell out just to make it look a bit more like it's there so uh, blur and sharpen camera lens blur and just turn it up until it fits in nicely about there i'd color correct it but i think that looks pretty good anyway so let's just turn our flares back on That looks awesome. I'll go just go back to preferred so I can preview a little bit faster. There we go. Almost done. A couple more steps and then we'll uh, we'll be all done. There we go. Uh, so I'll have a quick watch of this. I think that shell needs to go a tiny, tiny bit faster. So I'll just go open the position, couple. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So next uh, step is the shockwave that sort of gets shot out by the uh, flare. So what we're gonna do, uh, what I might even do is just take the Flare, delete mask three. Oh, control J. Delete mask three. Delete mask three. There we go. And then uh, delete rough around edges. Just do it quickly. And mask two. Okay, I'll delete mask two as well. And then I'll just add another. Add another mask. Subtract it. Uh, link the expansion. There we go, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into comp one. And I'm just going to delete the colour correction on it. Where is it? Uh, what was it called? Flare. Oh, actually, actually no. No, I've just I've messed it up completely now. So we've got our stuff yet, so we'll make a layer new solid. Sorry, I just wasted a load of time. Oh well, I'll cut that out maybe. I'll see. Might be entertaining. Um, and then I will hide it quickly and turn off all the flares just so I can see. So I can see there and then do another one. Uh, so it's the first one to add. One to subtract. Keep the expansion. Turn it right. Keep the expansion. There we go. Uh, keyframe it. Go forward. 
so it wants to be off screen by about here and then just do that move it up a bit as well right so let's just have a look so it wants to start come on about here no it can't begin wrap up Slow down a little bit more. Turn all the flares back on. In fact, no, right, I've done that wrong again. I'll pre compose everything apart from. Uh, right, so pre compose everything apart from the shockwave. Control Shift C. Done. I do this so much faster in my other two tutorials. Right. And now we've just got the footage and the shockwave. So the finished footage, if I turn everything back on, finished footage and the shockwave. So boosh, and then the shockwave going out. Uh, so, and then what we want to do on uh, pre compose, oh, oh fat, wait. Uh, uh, go to the mask properties of this and just feather feather out a bit, let's find it, where is it, here, and feather both the masks, just a little bit, well quite a lot actually, and that looks pretty good, and then I'll close that, and then, then pre-compose it, and move all the attributes, and sec on this uh, footage layer, we're going to want to add a disk, Displacement. I can't spell today. Displacement map and apply that to the second layer. And set the displacement map layer to white solid. Uh, use for horizontal displacement to lightness and lightness again for the other one. So now, as we increase, if we increase these, if we hide that, you'll see that we've got a sort of ripple sort of goes through that's a bit big so we'll just turn it down just wants to be subtle so we've got a nice little shockwave going out so we can fill in those little gaps in a minute that was awesome and then what what i'm just going to do is uh scale up the footage a tiny bit so that should do it there we go and that is pretty much the finished effect. All you've got to add now is a nice colour grade. Uh, I'm going to do that quickly. Hello, sorry. Uh, I'm going to do that quickly before my thing runs out of uh, memory. My uh, oh, whatever doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just going to use synthetic aperture colour finesse, which I love because it's awesome. It makes me seem professional to have like a whole thing just for colour correction. Well, I do have speed grade, but I never use it for that. I have a clue how to. Uh, anyway, I'm going to desaturate it a bit and turn up the contrast, done, nice and quick. So, if you um, have any questions, please please uh, comment and also if you have any suggestions for future effects, tutorials or whatever, then yeah, just subscribe and leave a comment. So uh, yeah, see you next time, bye.